So if you heard about um, something called the Safe Working Group and uh, Cloud Native uh, in TNTF, um, this is basically the same group. We've gone through some rebranding, rename, and now we're also should be a six, which is great. Um, so yeah, in this session, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, what exactly we are, what we, we are trying to do, as well as ways they can involve them. Um, so why exactly is Six Security? Um, so CNCF Six Security is a group, uh, and our main vision really is to part of it is to increase the posture of security across cloud native in general. Um, and another thing that we are hoping to be able to do is to be able to make it um, so that whenever a developer, end user, or operator, or an auditor talks about creating a cloud native application or solution. They should be comfortable with knowing what exactly is the security risk, what are steps I can take to mitigate um, um, certain risks within my security solution. Um, so we do this in three areas. One is to be able to observe the entire CNCF landscape and look at areas where we need to have better security or have a bit more focus on it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, the second thing that we're doing is we want to be able to have a common understanding of tools. So what we do, part of what we do in our assessments, basically what we have is we look at certain security focused projects in CNCF, we do a review of them, and then we give a little bit about, you know, here's the track model that you should be looking at when you're looking at using this product or using this um, project. So these are things you should consider. These are things um, if you are if you need if you're using this, these are things that you get from it. These are things that you don't get from it. I'll go into more detail later. Um, and the third focus area for this group is also around kind of audit and compliance. And uh, we often get this issue where auditors come to us and we say that. Oh, sorry. Hello, this is Ben. Okay, so um, the third point, which is around um, audit, right? So uh, there are several um, customers that come to us and or just um, vendors in general and they say that auditors that look at cloud native um, solutions and architecture don't really know how to assess the security of it. And this is something that is fairly new and you know, auditors still have some trouble in you know, understanding how risk has changed when you introduce something like a um, CI/CD process with containers was isolation in that regard. Um, so these are the kind of the focus areas of the group. Uh, a little bit of history. So this um, the safe working group started in December 2017 from a casual conversation between a couple of folks, um, and we started the initial um, safe working group, which is now called Six Security. And we started with this idea of, okay, we're going to identify all the different uh, personas and use cases in uh, cloud native in terms of security. All right. Um, so we, we continue on this. Uh, we merged with the policy working group, um, which there's going to be a talk later that I mentioned. Um, so we're, this is, they're looking at kind of what, what should cloud native policies be? What are the policies which you know, has security considerations. How does Spiffy, how does OPA, how do these projects get integrated with it? Um, and later down the road, uh, around last year in August 2018, uh, we created a PR for CNCF considerations and thanks to our chairs and um, the, the, our sponsors at the TOC, uh, we were able to um, get the SIG status in June of this year. So we are a fairly new SIG, but we um, have quite a, a good amount of participation. So right now we have 45 members. Um, it's kind of a diverse set of members. We have people from um, cloud vendors, we have um, security providers, we have end users, financial users, and so on. Right. So a lot of representation, there's a lot of good security discussion that goes along. Um, and it really is a very open community. Basically, we do everything from GitHub. So I'm going to talk about um, two or three focus areas that uh, we've been um, putting work into over the past um, past year. So one of it is landscape. 
So some of you may be familiar with the CNCF Netscape. So this, if you've seen this, like the big picture with a ton of different logos on the same page, uh, basically classifying, okay, what is this cloud native um, um, technology? Where should it be? Um, is it orchestration? Is it runtime? Whatever. All right. So with SIG security, we want to do a similar thing for security, right? So we want to be able to um, have a bit more of a, a fine grained control of or classification of what uh, security project is, right? Is it something to do with identity? Is it something to do with privacy? And once we are able to classify all the projects into the different areas, you can kind of see the gaps and see, oh, this is where more projects should be, or this is somewhere that you know we should put more interest in. Um, Another thing which sets us apart from the general CNCF landscape that we're trying to push for is that uh, when the CNCF landscape, the, the scope of it really is targeted at the CNCF project themselves. Uh, but with security, this is a little bit different because a lot of the security projects that I use in um, production or in solutions um, actually you know, go are generic security solutions. So like key management systems like Fault, um, you know, anything in the C groups, namespaces, in the Linux kernel, you know, those are all generic security projects, but they're not necessarily cloud native, but they are still important in the ecosystem for security. So we, we have kind of a draft of all these things that are moving forward. Um, um, if you are interested in helping with anything, um, the issues I put all on the slide. So if you want to just click into it, you can kind of see um, what the details that we, we've already drawn up are. And also if you want to contribute, we are definitely very open to that. <clears throat> okay, so um, the second thing I want to talk a little bit about is security assessments. Uh, security assessments is something that I'm more involved with. And the idea here is that we're looking at some of, um, for, for starters, we're looking at some of the security focused projects. So the idea here is um, three things. One is we want to look at cloud native security um, projects or projects in general and make sure they have good security posture. So this may, we ensure that you know do you have a proper CI? Do you do scanning of your images and so on? Um, on top of that, we ensure that all the projects have a um, security process. So for example, do they have a process for if there's a vulnerability discovered in a project? Is there a security team and what's their response time like? Um, so on top of that, what we do, which I'll show you a bit more details later, is that we really understand what are the threat models and how they they um, form a part of the architecture. So we started with two this year and they are almost complete. So the first is in total. In total is a um, kind of um, signature verification mechanism, which validates um, certain processes within the container supply chain, all right? To ensure that you have scanning, you have um, your signing done, maybe you have encryption, certain compliance steps that you want to perform. Uh, OPA, which is um, Open Policy Agent, some of you may be familiar, may have heard that. Um, it's basically a policy language and a policy um, service that allows you to um, and code policies and make decisions on them. So what we do is we work with um, the maintainers and the security team of uh, the individual projects. And we what, what ends up um, the process is that we go through, maybe it's usually about two to three weeks. Um, the main aim of this is to get a general consensus of um, the security of a project. And what the result of this is, is uh, we get this document. So I'm just gonna switch here. So this is the CNCF six security page. Um, we're on GitHub, and you know if there's basically a ton of information here, and everything we have really are in the issues. Um, so if you go to the issues um, label with assessments. You can see uh, a couple over here. So we have OPA and in total. So if we look at the OPA one, uh, we end up with this document, which uh, we, we think that is really helpful for end users, vendors, or operators, right? Um, so the, the document starts are really generic with kind of what is 
this project, what is it trying to provide in terms of security? So like a little bit of background and stuff on the goals that it's trying to achieve in terms of security, uh, non-goals and so on. And so these, these things are kind of very straightforward. You can find it in the repo. But what I think is really interesting um, for general users, if, if you go down into the document, uh, what we do is we ask, we perform the security analysis. Um, so basically, we're trying to identify, you know, what are the main things that you have to look look out for, right? So in this case, we talk about, okay, what are certain attacker scenarios that could happen? If your your if this component is going to be breached within your your solution or your cluster, um, what are the things that you have to consider? What are the mitigating steps you can take from there onwards? So we go into a few details about, okay, so what are the attack surfaces? What are the things that the project could do better in the short term, in the long term, whether it's um, enforcing better defaults, whether it's you know providing better education to users that uh, this is not this is something that the platform provides and certain things you should not assume. So this document contains a lot of um, interesting stuff. Um, and we also have there are some um, notes on you know what are some of the defaults that you should use. So another one I kind of want to share about is in in total over here. Um, so an example of how this would be useful is that if we look at um, so this talks about you know why if you have a key compromise, what happens, what's the implications of it. Um, and another thing that I think is really useful here is for certain components, uh, so certain projects rely on certain other components. So in the case of Intoto, it relies on some kind of storage, um, verifiable storage for um, the signatures that it creates or the, the, the content blocks that it creates. And so like this document will talk about, okay, what are the different trade-offs, what are the different implications, what are the considerations you need uh, to look at if you're going to choose a different type of backend for storage. Right. Um, so we, we, we see this document as a way to uh, help assess the security, to help the project grow in terms of increasing the security posture, but also as a document that users can take a look at and really understand something about the project in terms of security. Right, so we have a couple of um, security assessments that are coming up. Um, this one that's going to be on Falco, one that's going to be on Keycloak, and possibly Harbor. So these are the three projects that we're looking at. Um, if you're interested in participating in security assessments, um, do ping us on Slack, um, give us a shout out on the mailing list, um, and also put your name down on the issue. So another thing that's been going on is a policy white paper. So this is not something I'm um, very involved with. So I don't know if Tsipeng is here. Um, he's the one that's really driving this. He's part of the policy work group. And he's going to have a, a deep dive um, about the Kubernetes policy work group. And I hope, I think, he may talk a little bit about this white paper that we're writing. Uh, but if you go to this issue and you click through, there's going to be a document talking about you know what are the details of the white paper. All right, this is not loading, so I'm going to skip this. All right, so a few things that are coming out is, uh, one, we also have, on top of the policy paper, we are also writing a more generic security white paper. So what this, this white paper is going to talk about is, you know, what is, um, how do you do security in cloud native, you know? It's not going to be something specific to Kubernetes. It's not going to be something specific to uh, certain runtimes, certain products. It's really, you know, um, from an auditor perspective or from a security perspective, what are the, you know, the base things that you have to secure? Um, what are the things they need? Like you need some kind of um, DevOps pipeline, some kind of verification, runtime verification. 
Um, so this is something that um, is coming up, is something that's already in progress. Uh, like I said, the policy white paper is also ongoing. Um, another big thing that we have is the SIG security microsite. So there's been a lot of um, ideas around providing education about security. So one of the, ones of the, one of the things that we talk about is on the types of vulnerabilities that we generally see in cloud native applications. So one, one example is uh, the talk to error, the time of check to time of use errors, right? Um, if an object is modified in between where um, the, the value we can't make assumptions about, uh, generally we see quite a few of those type of um, vulnerabilities. So the Microsoft is going to serve a few purposes. So one of it is to put on articles um, that share about, you know, here are the types of attacks, here are what you should look at, here's how to mitigate, uh, mitigate them and how to do it right. Uh, we also hope to put more information of how to use certain security tools and security projects um, and just security posture um, articles in general. Um, and last but not least, uh, what I mentioned before, we have uh, in total OPA, we're almost done. Uh, Falco, that um, security review is going to be led by Justin Cormack. I'm going to be looking at Keycloak and possibly Harbor, we, we are still unsure on that. We have to talk to the maintainers. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it short so we can uh, talk if after this or you have any questions. Um, you can find us on GitHub. Everything that we have is on GitHub. Um, you shouldn't be able to not find any, any information. You just have to click through a lot of links. Uh, and then we you can join us on the Slack. We're on the CNCF Slack now with the SIG Security channel. Um, unfortunately, we so we meet every week, but we also understand that um, it's really difficult to find a time for everyone to meet. Um, so unfortunately, our meeting times are not um, do not work as well with Europe and the the Asia area. But uh, what usually happens is the meetings are not compulsory, and what happens is like if you're interested in security assessment, for example, then you know, um, we will form a small group of three to four people and they, they find a good time to meet by themselves. Right? So if, if you look at the GitHub um, and the, the, the notes on the meetings, um, meetings are really about you know what's going on, updates from different people, but a lot of the work in the group actually happens offline. All right, um, thank you so much for coming and um, do let me know if you have any questions, thank you. From HP and I had uh, many conversation with our security architect in our company, and I can fully understand the security people always like the policies, right, the rules. So I'm more interested, in, you know, on the how piece, right? How we can address all these security risks and vulnerabilities more than you just tell us, no, don't do that, right? So, um. So a couple of things. So that is something that we are looking at in the general white paper. Um, so if you go to, go, oh, I can't type, hold on. So if you, if you look into the issue, we have a security overview white paper. This is the one I'm talking about. Um, so we are currently in progress to talk about, okay, here are the things that you have to secure, here are some um, possible um, ideas or projects you can look at it. So, yeah, so here's, here's an example, right? Um, this is, again, this is um, really, really rough draft. This is something that we're gonna work on next. Um, so the idea is, you know, compute definition of security, what are the tools and resources that you have, you can use to help in that. How do you get compliance from that? Um, you know, how do you do runtime enforcement, things like that. So I think these are some of the questions that kind of you're talking about that may be useful if we provide some, some insight on that as well. Um, and of course, like the things on network, file storage and stuff like that. So, um, the the group generally has um, quite a few people that have also very strong opinions. So uh, we are 
very happy to hear more from different people. Uh, I think it's really good if we have a, a discussion on, you know, what are some perspectives on. So another thing is, you know, financial users may have different um, requirements from other types of users. So, you know, what are things to consider? Maybe we can talk about, oh, should we have multiple tiers of security and compliance? Um, if you're a regular user, maybe you should do these one, two, three. But if maybe four, five, six isn't really for you, unless you are, for example, working with um, uh, credit card information and need PCI or something like that. Um, so this is something that's still being worked on. We'll be super happy if <laughs> if your team or your architect wants to talk about this with us. Um, you know, every perspective that bring helps. Yeah, I hope that that addresses. Sorry. Oh yeah. Um, so what I would recommend doing is so if you if you just like drop a go, go to a GitHub issue and say you're interested in this, um, and then um, this we'll pro we'll follow up the issue. So so we work very ad hoc. So we'll follow up the issue and also um, so this this one I think is owned by Sarah, who is one of our chairs. Um, so if you ping her on the Slack channel. Um, I think she she will get in touch with you as well. You mean the 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 six oh, me? Oh, I'm located in New York. Yeah. Any more question? Okay. Thank you.